In this video, we're going to show you how to make this easy to build LED display hat. The hat can display your own custom animations and graphics, as well as some of our pre-made ones. We'll show you everything you need to know to build it, including the software. Let's get started. First off, you'll need to get a hat with a large front face. This makes it easier to mount the display. We're using this black snapback. Next, we'll need a full face sun visor. For the display, we'll use this 8x8 flexible LED matrix. It has just enough flexibility in it to match the contour of our hat. We're also going to use this wearable electronics platform to control the display. And of course, a battery to power it all. To make it easier to size the area to cut out of our hat, we took our LED matrix and traced it on a piece of paper, making it half an inch wider on two sides so that we could attach it to the hat. But first, we also need to cut out our screen from the sun visor. So we laid our template onto the sun visor, traced it with a sharpie, and cut it out with some scissors. There's a flap of material on the inside of our hat. We're gonna cut this material out so that we can attach it to the border of our visor and sew that onto our hat. You're going to need some very sharp fabric shears to cut this material out. In this case, we didn't have any, but some tin snips did the job. We found it really hard to thread a needle through the sun visor material, so we took the smallest drill bit we had and drilled some holes around the border of our screen. I cut four pieces from the material for the four sides of the square. One by one, I wrapped each piece around the edge so that there was about a half inch overlap and sewed them in place using a running stitch. This part was a little tedious, but looked nice once we finished. Now we'll take the paper template we made earlier and center it on the inside of our hat up against the bottom. And just like with the sun visor, we traced out the border with a sharpie. The material on this part of the hat was really tough, and we found that a box cutter was able to slice through it and make some clean cuts. So even though I used a razor sharp box cutter to cut this hole in the hat, there's still some loose uh, threads on the side so I'm going to use this lighter to try to melt the thread and fuse the edges clean. To attach the visor to the hat, we sewed through the excess material on the border using the same running stitch pattern. It was easiest to sew this in two halves, both starting from the top and ending at the bottom one for the left side, and one for the right. Now for some finishing touches. We took some Gorilla Tape and simply taped the LED matrix to the inside of our hat after carefully centering it behind the opening. You'll also want to cover up some of the unneeded contacts with electrical tape. You want to power the LED matrix with the 5 volt data in and ground wires. I soldered three extension wires to the red, green, and white cables so that they can reach the back of the hat.
After covering the exposed connections with some electrical tape, I soldered the red wire to VBAT, green wire to pin 6, and white wire to ground on the control board. I covered the exposed wires using an extra piece of the Gorilla Tape. Finally, I plugged the battery into the board and tucked it into the leftover flap material on the side of the hat. We've provided all the code to run the animations in this video on our GitHub repository. After plugging the hat into a USB port on your computer, you'll need to open the Arduino sketch from the LED hat folder located in the repository files. All of the animation functions are called in the main loop at the bottom of the program. An explanation of the code will be covered in more detail on the hackster.io page. In order to run the code on the board, you'll need to add a few dependencies. I needed the Adafruit board configurations for the Arduino editor to compile code for my board. I follow the setup guide on the Adafruit website, which I will also post on the hackster.io page. You can install these configurations by opening the boards manager and installing the Adafruit AVR boards configuration. You also need to install a library for the LED matrix. By clicking Sketch, Include Library, Manage Libraries, you can open the Library Manager. From there, I installed the Adafruit NeoPixel library. Finally, I clicked Verify to compile my code, then Upload to run it on the board. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. If you want to find out more about how we made this project, we're going to be posting a full write-up on Hackster.io. The links will be in the description. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all our other videos. But until then, see you next time.